Los Angeles International Airport. With so many passengers to deal with, staff never know quite what the day will throw at them. I'm having Mike come over here, and I'll have Mike make the decision. What's going on? For customer services supervisor Mike Carr, this is a most unusual situation. I guess this gentleman has defecated on himself, so I gotta go check it out and see what's going on. Hello. Hello. Are you traveling together? Mm -hmm. Okay. Hi, I'm the supervisor. My name is Mike Carr. How are you doing? Virginia Lovato and her husband, Avenizio, are on their way home to New Mexico after visiting family on the coast. Listen, we had a little bit of a problem, I guess. Yeah. Do you, you understand what's going on right now? What can we do to help you? We're not going to be able to get you on the flight in this condition, unfortunately. He has what? Alzheimer's. Oh, Alzheimer's. Okay. And he doesn't know what he's doing. And doing Where are you traveling to today, ma'am? Albuquerque. Albuquerque? Okay. Does he have a change of pants? Because his pants are soiled also. Do you have a change of clothes? Did you pack your clothes? Yes. It's already in the suitcase. So the suitcases? Let me see this. Just if I can get a change of clothes. Here. They're going to Albuquerque because I got to get his clothes out of there. We're going to take care of him, don't worry. We're not going to, you know, we're going to get you to Albuquerque today. No, you OK? It'll be all right. You're, 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 don't apologize. No reason to apologize. Listen, this is OK. This is life, right? This is life. So you don't have to apologize. You don't have to worry about it. We're going to take care of you today, OK? And we're going to get you to Albuquerque. And I'll help you out whatever I can do, OK? This is just, it's out of her control. and. My heart is bleeding for them right now, so I'm going to do whatever I can. I'm going to get some gloves, and if I have to help change them, I'm going to help change them. Back in L.A., Mike's preparing to go above and beyond his job description for Alzheimer's sufferer Avenizio and his wife Virginia. The most difficult part of this is going to be the fact that I'm going to actually physically help change this gentleman, which I haven't done before. But as one human being to another, I'm willing to take on this, this duty. We have a changing room that I'm going to take you with, and I can assist you if you'd like. I'm just going to get some gloves for us, and then we'll get him a change of clothes. And in a situation like that, you know what? You did the best you could. So, you know, I yeah, might. We're going to we're going to take care of you, sir. We're going to go ahead and change those uh, pants for you. We're going to get your suitcase, and I'm going to help you also. Thank you. No problem. Um, my mother's very ill, so I understand the, the challenges that we all deal with. As we all get older, that's what happens. Our body gives out. So, you know? Okay. That's where we're going to be going with that lady just went in that nursery room. It's a little private, but somebody's in there right now. So, there's a sofa. I believe there's a sink in there so we could, with water, so we can use some towels and whatnot we need to do. Okay? Not a problem. Do me one favor. Don't apologize anymore. There's no reason to apologize to me. OK? Sorry about all the oh. <laughs> He hopefully won't remember much of this. But I'm really concerned about the effect it's going to have on her long term. And she said she's been dealing with this for six years. So you know, it's tough when you have a loved one that's sick. In Los Angeles, Mike's work is done. My pleasure, sir. It's nice meeting you. Likewise. It was a pleasure. Okay, and I'll come back and see you before you leave. Okay, just to make sure everything's cool and get up on board. No problems at all. We've had a great time today. These are yours, and we're going to take them. My pleasure. Thank you. Bless your heart, okay? You're not alone. You're you take care. Something. You don't have to send me nothing. Seriously. You, you're a hero in my eyes, OK? OK. But I'm going to take this over here, and then we'll, uh, we'll get the bag situated, OK? My mom is very ill. She has uh, diabetes. She's had so many strokes that she's actually bedridden. Uh, she can't talk. She's on a feed-in tube. So when you think of stuff like that, I think about my mom. And she's in Boston, and my family's taking care of her. And you know, it's, it's tough. But I love my mother very much. I just want to say that. I miss her, too. So, in a way, it's like me helping my mom. All right, we got to go on the 
play now, Benny. Let's go. All right. Back in L.A., Avenizio and Virginia board their flight home to Albuquerque. A little bit of tough there, huh? Yeah. When I saw the smile on her face, I was like, oh, God, yes, you know, I did some good here. That really is the biggest, that was the biggest gift of this whole experience. Now, hold on to me, hold on to me. There you go. Just one little step at a time. There you go. Michael was very, very helpful. I, I don't know how we're done with that. And... You can have a seat right there. Thanks a lot, buddy. My pleasure. You take care. I will take care. You take no, care too, okay? Don't take no wooden nickels. No wooden nickels, okay. No. You take care of this woman here. I've grown fond of her. I sure will. All right. Thank you for everything. All right. This has been such an emotional roller coaster that, you know, afterwards you reflect on it later and, you know, and your, your emotions run the whole gamut. They'll always have a special place in my heart, so I'll never forget this.